name is Chris Cummings, and I'm the managing general partner of Fresno Grizzlies. We called you here this afternoon to announce the news that uh, is probably, in this day of uh, social media, is probably the worst kept secret around Fresno today, that we have signed a two-year player development contract with the Houston Astros. This is something that we've been working on the last few days since we've been allowed to talk to people about, the, uh, about our affiliation, and we're very pleased. I personally have known the president of the Houston Astros for 10 years now. His name is Reed Ryan, son of Nolan Ryan, and he is absolutely a first-class baseball person. Uh, we're thrilled to have this relationship and this opportunity to move forward with their, with their organization. And uh, we appreciate the fact that you came over to hear the news. Now, I'm going to turn this over to Derek Franks, who's our executive vice president, and have him fill you in on some of the details. After that, we'll open it up for questions and try to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you, Chris. I want to thank, thank everyone for being here today on short notice. You know, the, uh, the player development contract process, I know, is, um, tends to be a bit confusing. And so, uh, and the nature of it is that everything happens very quickly and very fast. So I'm happy that you're all here today on short notice and could be here as, uh, as we uh, go into the next chapter of Fresno Grizzlies baseball with a new affiliate, the Houston Astros. And we're very, very excited about this opportunity because uh, the Astros have a top uh, minor league system, top farm club. We know that going into this new chapter of, of downtown baseball in Fresno, that uh, we're going to be loaded with prospects and loaded with talent. The Astros have been through a rebuilding process the last few years, which has meant uh, they've, they've had a ton of first round, first overall picks. We have a, they have seven of the top 100 prospects in all of Major League Baseball right now. Uh, there's a high likelihood that we'll have a couple of those top prospects here in Fresno next year. And uh, we're thrilled. As, as Chris mentioned, um, the other the other thing that makes this very special for us is uh, we've known Reed Ryan for many years. He comes from a historic baseball family. Uh, he has a great understanding of the minor league system and understands what we do. And we were thrilled that, that at his excitement to come to Fresno, and they, they identified Fresno as the place they really wanted the AAA operation to, uh, to, to be this, uh, these next two years. And um, so when he called and expressed interest, we were thrilled. He mentioned to us that he played ball in the Central Valley years ago, and he loves the Central Valley, and they're thrilled. And, and I think for us, teaming with a uh, with an affiliate that has the president of their organization dealing with this contract tells you that they're uh, they put the minor league system at at a, at a very high priority. Um, they've got a great advanced analytics, and the way that they scout talent is uh, cutting edge. And we know that uh, that means that in this, again, in this next phase of Fresno Grizzlies baseball, uh, we have a great opportunity to put some awesome talent on the field. Uh, you know, for us, for the fans, uh, putting a winning product on the field is important to the fans. And I think that that's something that uh, today, as the news kind of hit, and as I got people calling us and texting us and tweeting at us, uh, they're excited about the opportunity to see some great ball players here in Fresno, and so are we. We're, we're thrilled to be uh, aligned with a, a great baseball family like the Ryans, who understand minor league operation, who understand baseball, and uh, we couldn't, couldn't be any happier with the outcome of how this has gone, and uh, we're thrilled to enter this next, uh, next chapter in uh, Fresno Grizzlies baseball, and uh, we, we're, we're thrilled. <clears throat> I'm happy to also announce that uh, uh, Reed Ryan and some of the top executives from the Astros will have committed to uh, a visit in Fresno next month. Uh, so we'll be able to get you a date and some more details on that soon, but we'll be inviting all of you back to join us uh, to come and meet Reed and uh, Jeff Linnell most likely, uh, Quentin McCracken will likely be here, and um, we'll, we'll, put on, we'll have another event to invite you all to. We'll have a great event for our season ticket holders to come out and meet. Uh, meet the Astros organization, and it really just speaks to their commitment to our new partnership, that they're, uh, they're coming to Fresno and looking forward to getting off to a great start. So we're thrilled. Uh, you know, this is, uh, this is a great opportunity for us to have some, again, great ball players here in Fresno. Uh, we couldn't be any more thrilled than we are right now. 
happy to take any questions. Chris and I are happy to take any questions you may have. Jerry, how will this change the marketing of the Grizzlies now that you don't have the Giants to, to use for your promotions, the ball hits, the rings? Right. How's it going to change for you guys? Yeah, I think um, one of the things that we've always been committed to is the, the fan experience. Uh, fun guaranteed is a slogan you guys have seen over the years. Um, we, we're really committed to helping families and friends create memories at the ballpark, and I think that um, all of those th all of those things are going to remain important to us. We've been at the forefront, I think, of uh, some of the, the best promotions in minor league baseball with the Taco Truck Throwdown, with our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, promotion this year that was uh, out in front, one of the best promotions I've ever seen. And, any level of ball, and, and we've been told that by most of the, the folks in minor league baseball. So, um, you know, for us, we want to make sure, I think it's really important um, for us to make sure that you guys know which which elite players are going to be here, um, and we we'll want to make sure that everyone in Fresno gets a chance to see these guys before they make it to the big leagues, and I think that's one thing that we're going to be committed to is, um, you know, we don't want you to find out about that there was a star here in Fresno once it gets called up, we want, you, we want the community and the fans to come out and see these guys firsthand. So uh, we're going to highlight the farm system of the Astros. We're going to highlight the prospects and the players. And we're going to continue to uh, put the fan experience and the entertainment uh, as a top priority. And, and that won't change at all. Um, Derek, obviously there will be some changes that fans will be able to see. But from your perspective, is the name staying the same? What are the jerseys going to look like and the color scheme? Right. Um, the, we will absolutely be the Fresno Grizzlies. We're go heading into the season as the Fresno Grizzlies, no doubt. Uh, we uh, one of the little bonus is that uh, we do share the shade of orange with the Houston Astros, so uh, we're looking forward to that. Um, we did sell our home uh, uniforms off last at the end of the season. They've been played in for several years, and uh, we have 60 days per minor league baseball to decide on uh, any adjustments we want to make to our uniform. So. We've got some great ideas, and uh, uh, we should have an announcement about our home uniform coming. That should coincide with the visit with uh, when Houston comes down next month. Will there be any changes to the park because Houston has that uh, interesting little incline in center field? <laughs> now, you know, from what I what I read, uh, I, I know that Reed has been uh, on a tour of ballparks, and they're looking to make some changes to their ballpark. From what I've seen, and uh, so I'm not sure if the the hill is going to be part of the future Minute Maid Park. Um, but uh, I know that they were very interested in, in our ballpark. They, the first thing Reed told us was uh, it's a, he's heard it's a top-notch facility. He's heard all good things from their player development people. And uh, they like the fact that the, um, the ballpark plays pretty neutral and in some cases uh, a little bit favorable to pitchers at times. So um, I know they were excited about that. What would you say to those Giants fans that came to Grizzlies games to see you know, their future players? Right. I, you know, I think uh, Chris hit it on the head. We had a great 17-year run with the Giants. I mean, we got to be a part of two world championships and had a lot of players come through Fresno. Um, but I think that's the important part is that we've had a lot of great players come through Fresno that have used this facility to get to the next level, and that doesn't change. Um, one thing that the Astros were really excited about was the fact that uh, they play quite, they play on the West Coast. They, they uh, I think this year in the inter interleague schedule, they uh, – they have trips in LA for the Dodgers against the, the Giants in San Francisco. So our fans will have the opportunity to uh, go and see these guys and, and go visit some of the ballparks they like to visit and they're used to going to anyway in San Francisco and Oakland, uh, Anaheim and LA. So um, you know the, 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 there's that opportunity for um, for them to see these players. And uh, you know it's, it's a, a, a next chapter for us that we're excited about. You know one of the things that uh, I've heard over the years is uh, as much as everyone loves the Giants, they'd love to see a first place team and a playoff team come through Fresno. And uh, obviously with a number one farm system, we think that that's a likely outcome in the future is, is having a, a playoff run and having great teams here. So we're looking forward to that. Derek, do you know of any Central Valley ties for many of the players um, on this new team? Yeah, we absolutely do. Uh, we have, uh, there's three that we know of. Um, Tyson Perez has, has the most, he's born in Hanford, has a likely chance of landing in AAA. He was in AA last season. And um, there are some, some other ties um, from either born in the Valley, we went to Fresno State, went to Fresno City. Um, Derek Velasquez and uh, Trent Woodward are two other local names. So, um, you know, if those guys land in Fresno, that's another exciting thing for our fans here and, and people who come out and support that.
Derek, I know you guys are excited about this new change, but can you talk about how you guys parted ways with the Giants and even up to maybe the last week and how that sort of went about until you guys ultimately parted ways? Sure thing. I, uh, you know, I, I think what the Giants were great during this whole process. They stayed in constant communication with Chris and I. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they, what Bobby said was that uh, the proximity of the ballpark to them was, was the tipping point. And, uh, but they've been great through the process. They kept us in the loop as to their discussions with Sacramento the last couple of days. And, um, you know, I think they did a first class job of letting us know. And, and uh, I know it was a tough decision for them. And because we had such a great relationship, we, just, I mean, we always will. Um, and so, uh, you know, they were great during this whole process. I think it was, it was top notch and professional all the way through. And uh, again, we're, we're pleased with the result and, and happy to you know, take this next step. And because you're not able to talk about it during the season, obviously there were some rumblings a few months ago, but that for better or for worse, did you guys prepare for options B, C, and D per se? You know, um, we were committed to getting the Giants back, obviously, as we stated this week. But um, you know, as it got closer, you you, know, you look at the, what the scenarios might be. But you know, we really didn't know until Tuesday who actually was available, and um, and so you know, it gives you that the process of this PDC is is challenging in the sense that you get two weeks. That's why everything happened. It happened so quickly. Um, that was where the relationship with with Reed Ryan came in, and the familiarity there was. Uh, made this easy for us to get a deal done quickly once we found out that the Giants were uh, had other plans. Hey Chris, how does this affiliation switch affect your ongoing uh, effort to sell the Grizzlies? It, it doesn't really have any impact at all. We're in exactly the same position that we have been in and we're, we're looking forward to the next season in baseball and if something happens to happen on the ownership level, it will. If it doesn't, as it hasn't the last couple of years, that's fine but we're committed to making sure that baseball continues in Fresno and that we have a first class team here. And again, I am so thrilled with the, uh, with the, with the organization that we're tied into. We were, we were fortunate enough to talk to every one of the five teams that was available. Uh, the, the way the process works, uh, we were notified on Monday of the teams that were going to be available, but we weren't allowed to start talking until Tuesday morning, so it was, sort of a mad scramble on Tuesday to contact everybody and try to see where the fit was. And as soon as we started talking with Reed, you know, it, it, it fell into place so quickly. Uh, we, held, we held off, we actually didn't sign the contract until about three hours ago. Uh, we held off until we saw where everything else was shaking out. But this was something where two, by Tuesday afternoon, this, this was the likely eventuality for us, so it was, so you don't think a, a, a potential owner looks at the Grizzlies different being an Astros affiliate than being a Giants affiliate? No, I don't think so at all. It's, it's the, you know, if, if it was a person, if there was a prospective buyer who lived in San Francisco and wanted that relationship, it might have somewhat of an impact. But again, most of the owners in baseball are baseball fans primarily, and I don't think it's going to have an impact. Chris, you and Derek have used the word thrill countless times. Yep. So, Giants fans, Dodger fans, A's fans, how do you get those people in this park and excited about the Astros? Well, it's, you know, for, for us, the, the, number of, the number of people who are pure baseball fans who are, who are fanatical about one particular team, uh, and you, you can see it in Fresno now because there, there are people who are, uh, Dodger fans here, there are people who are Padres fans. You know, we have fans from all over the state, and it doesn't really have much of an impact on, on who comes to the ballpark. Most of the people who come here want to have a good time, and they want to see baseball, and they want to see high-level baseball. And we think the fact that we're going to be producing high-level baseball will overpower any, any team preferences that people have. Now that doesn't say that we don't still love the Giants. The good thing about Houston is that it's an American League team. So we're still allowed to love the Giants in the National League, but now we've got a, a favorite American League team now that we're gonna be, we're gonna be pushing for and try to help succeed. Yeah, other than the uh, colors that you mentioned, the uniforms, there's gonna be other noticeable changes around the ballpark. You know, we see all the banners of former Giants and Grizzlies. Are those coming down? Are those going to stay? And the uniform numbers, like 24 and 44, that become unofficially retired, way to go back in circulation? You know, I think uh, 
you know, the, the Giants will always be part of our history. Those players will always be a part of Fresno's baseball history. They'll always be a part of the Fresno Grizzlies history. So there's no plans to, uh, you know, take down the Posey pictures or the Bumgarner banners. I mean, it's always going to – those players and the success that, that, uh, that those players have had in Fresno and watching their careers, uh, you know, get to this level and making it to the big leagues, uh, that'll always be part of, of Fresno's history with baseball. We're proud of that. We're proud of the amount of players that have come out of Fresno and been big leaguers. I mean, and really, uh, and for a number of years, even prior to the Grizzlies, there's been a tie with uh, San Francisco. And you know, the, the, the history and the players that came out of here, that we'll never erase that. It'll always be part of, of uh, our, our tradition. And uh, so there's no plans to get any memory of, of that uh, by any means. Are there any, you know, sorry, you've had such a lengthy relationship with the Giants. What's it going to take to show the Astros that this could be something moving past just the two-year agreement that you guys had so we're not standing back here two more years? Right. That's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, for us, the, the familiarity that the Ryans have with a, a minor league baseball operation and, and the familiarity that we have with, with Reed is um, it's a, it's a great way to start off a relationship. I know that um, I think that uh, – you know, again, his knowledge of, of running a minor league operation is going to be uh, make it easy for us to get off on the right foot. Uh, they love the ballpark. They love the amenities. We've got an indoor hitting tunnel that, that all teams are interested in. Our, our clubhouse and our, our situation for the players and the teams uh, really top notch. And so uh, we think that that's going to start off a great relationship. And uh, I think we'll, you guys will see that on uh, in October when they come out and visit. They're really interested in uh, meeting all of you and and. Uh, showing everybody that they're committed to making this thing work even uh, for two years for sure. But uh, when we spoke to Reed, we said the goal is to go beyond that. So, Do you have any um, insight as to why Houston didn't free up where they currently were in Oklahoma City as opposed to coming out here? Yes. Um, Oklahoma City was uh, the uh, members of the Dodgers ownership group bought the Oklahoma City franchise. And uh, so that was another announcement that came this week that uh, and their purchase of the club, they realigned with the Dodgers, and, and uh, that left Houston uh, out as a free agent, so to speak. Right, but I'm sorry, what I meant was, were they trying to re-up there, and that was just out of their control, so they were in that scramble like all those five teams that Chris was talking about? Yeah, yeah I mean, once the uh, once the purchase happens with the, the Dodgers being, I mean, that was, that was the plan of them purchasing was moving their AAA operation there, so, um, you know, they were, they were left as free agents as a byproduct of that. There, how would this affect you know, advertising out in the city? I know, obviously, you look around, every no second snowboarding in town says to become a true giant one of these past the president, right? Now that obviously isn't true. So what changes are going to be made? Are added on doesn't it change? Are you going to lose some because of this? Or? You know, I, I think that um, really the, the Farm Grown campaign and, and that message of uh, you know this being a place where champions have been, been born, um, and the, the farm grown players and farm grown town, I think that uh, there may be a slight shift in, in language there, but the, the idea is the same. That, uh, this is a place where in Fresno, Fresno baseball is a place where we are champ, future champions. We, we have before, we'll continue to do that. That'll be the goal. And um, you know, so I, don't, I, don't, I think it'll be a, a minor change at best, but really along that same line that we've been uh, using this whole time, the, the farm grown aspect will remain the same. So no contract will change even though you're switching affiliates. Uh, I mean, we don't expect it to. Uh, a lot of our, well, the partnerships that you mentioned here are, um, are secured for several years, and, and you know some of the, the big partnerships that um, uh, that we have. I mean, the goals are the same between us and some of the big partners like Chichancy. Um, you know, the commitment is to the community, the ballpark, and the Astros feel the same way. They they want to commit to this community. Uh, Grizzlies, our organization is committed to this community, so we share in all of that, and I think that uh, that's going to be the most important thing moving forward. So the two-year deal is that just pretty much just standard, just because it's a new deal? Yeah, I mean we're allowed two is the minimum. It's you can sign two or four-year deals. Um, most teams sign two years because uh, you know things change. You don't. You, it's hard to see that far into the future, and um, you know two is two is, is what you typically see. Um, so we, uh, we, we knew that was going to be the case. We're comfortable with that. It gives us a chance to start off the relationship with the Astros and uh, you know, take it every two years from there. 
Um, but you know, it's hard to see that far into the future. And two years uh, makes sense for everybody. There's this whole process with the dialogue been like with the city of Fresno. Obviously, there's been some public, you know, fixes to keep them here. But now that you're moving to change, what's that been like talking to the city council about that? The city's been great, and you know, I think we're we're so lucky to have uh, a mayor that was willing to work so closely with us on this, and um, you know, it, it's just been great the whole way the, the communication's been ongoing and constant. Uh, I know that um, that the city's already reached out and. Um, Express their desire to uh, have a phone call with the Astros organization and, and make an introduction there. And, uh, so the commitment to the Astros is uh, that is shared by us in the city. We're all excited about where this thing is headed, and they've been a huge help along this process. And uh, we couldn't be happier with how, how that all went. So this is an opportunity that with your chance to park and maybe the downtown here, whether it's ideas or concerns that you may have, and they've been a little bit more open to, to listening to what you guys maybe have to do. Uh, you know, I, I, I think as partners in this, um, you know, we, we all we all want this to succeed and be successful. And, uh, and I think going back to the ne the next chapter in this thing is, uh, you know, gives us a high likelihood to have a winning ball club here in Fresno. I mean, I think that that makes tackling any of the obstacles and challenges a lot easier. And we feel that that's going to really go a long way. Kind of following up on that question, do you feel like this, which is almost a shot in the arm for the organization, can help with the revitalization of downtown? You know, I, you know, again, I say it, say it a lot, but uh, winning seems to cure cure all. They say that in the big leagues, you know. And uh, and again, we think the likelihood of having a winning ball club here just dramatically, the chances of that went up dramatically today. And uh, you know, winning's a beautiful thing. It, it, Good things happen when clubs can win, and uh, I think that the uh, you know for us the uh, fan experience is at the forefront. Seeing a winning ball club is going to make the fans happy, and uh, you know I think we're going to have a lot of people come out and, and be pretty proud of this product. That's going to be you know the new Fresno baseball. That's all set. Uh, I just have one more quick yeah. question: with uh, Houston being in the American League DH for all home games. We're going to see a lot more of the DHs. Yes. There are some rules in baseball that make it so, uh, you know, depending on which club they're playing and how they're affiliated, uh, we won't necessarily see it every night, but uh, but more often than we've seen in the past. And I want to point out Parker's got his Houston Astros patch, so we're ready, guys. Parker's excited. We're ready to go.